Hello Kings of War fans, it's another community update in which I talk about the game Kings of War and updates about it from the community. This week has seen the official website from Mantic for their Summer Halpies Rift campaign launched. And as always, you can find a link under this jolly little video. It's ready to go, but not strictly speaking actually, you know, going right now, because the campaign doesn't start until 27th of August, when it runs for a spectacular three whole days. Plan your games now! This week, someone appears to have stuck a whiffle back into the wasp's nest arsehole of 12,000 people strong Facebook group Kings of War fanatics, and there's been an unusual level of grumpiness going on! When I wrote that line the first time, I actually wrote shit posting, but then I went to the group and the top activity post listed is by me, so I changed it to make myself look better. I'm not complaining about it, if anything it's nice to see a return to form. I'm sure I made a note about it for something specific, but I've slept at least twice since then, so let's just move on and pretend this bit didn't happen. And it was great to see some photos that Marcello Diaz Bowen posted from the tournament he and his fellow gamers ran in Chile. One thing I love about the game is its increasing global appeal, as I add one more country I want to visit to my planned retirement Kings of War World Tour! Anyone who wants to tell me 3D printing isn't cool can take a look at David Crabtree's really unsettling Night Stalker models he posted to Facebook and shut the hell up because they're so good. One of the things I like about the Kings of War forums is how you can see people's armies developing, like Mike Grant's Tundra based Night Stalkers, which you can see here developing from bases to completion, which looks super cool. It's actually one of three projects he posted, including this Trident Realm Force, which is all 3D printed. Brandon Lee Shung Tne? Tne? I... Anyway, he posted his horde of night goblins painted up for Kings of War. They're bright as hell and great to see. But Army of the Week, without a doubt, has to go to Eric Dimian Oroyo, who posted photos of this extraordinary 100% origami Forces of Nature army. I mean, the mind boggles. I mean, how? Just fantastic. I love it to bits and I want to make it mine forever. Well, that's it for this week. I'm off to feed more tiny hamsters into the meat furnace that powers my Doom engine. Armageddon won't bring itself on, you know.